Pocket Mini Golf. As I am currently playing Animal Crossing to give it a review, I need to play a game that's easy and quick enough for me not to take up too much of my time in order to play it for a review. So you know what that means? It's time to dive into the eShop Dumpster. This one was really on sale. So much, it was free for me. Mainly because this company loves giving out games for free. So they can be high in the top sellers list when the sale is over. The whole time I was playing this, I said to myself, this feels like a mobile game. I looked it up, and I was right. It was a mobile game. But unlike other mobile games I reviewed, like Dandy Dungeon, they really didn't get rid of some of the mobile game's annoying things that you always see. Like making us collect gems to continue after losing. That's the whole reason the single player game is so f***ing awful. There are 50 courses for you to experience. Most of them are decent, but some not so much. There was never one that I thought, yeah, that was fun. Most of the courses were just too simplistic, with the ones that were not way later in the game. And it took a lot of grinding to get to them, or a lot of luck. This game has you collecting gems in each of the levels. You use these gems to continue after you lose, or you could skip a level. You would think the bar for doing this would be like 5 or 10, but it would get really large, like collecting 40 or so. They do give you bonus areas where you can pick up a bunch of gems but you had to replay levels over and over again just to get enough gems to continue to where you left off this was clearly only done to make you buy gems in the mobile game and they never got rid of it when they ported it to the switch because you can't buy extra gems in this you just have to grind through the same levels over and over again they didn't have to get rid of it they could have just made the gates to skip levels or continue not so ridiculously large now to the game's credit they do let you keep any gems that you earn so you could collect a gem exit and then do it again and just keep playing the first hole over and over again. This would be incredibly boring, but technically you can do it. The controls were not great either. Trying to line up a shot, it always moved a little bit more than you might have expected, and you have to fight to get it in the right position. You could change the camera from 3D to 2D to sort of see more of the course. Now, while the single player game was garbage, there is also a multiplayer mode, and this was actually not bad. They take all the single player levels and let you take up to three real players to see who could finish them all first, or who can get the furthest. This kind of thing was fine to play, and I could see some enjoyment for a few minutes playing this with other people. There's even a randomizer if you wanted, which would give different courses to each of the people playing. Pocket Mini Golf was frustrating as a single player game and oddly okay as a multiplayer one. For a few minutes at least. Graphically it sure looks like a flash game that was ported to an iPhone and then ported to a Switch. So is it worth the full price of $1.99 normally? No, not really. The problem is actually trying to find someone who'd want to play this simplistic game with you. So if you can find this on sale for free, then yeah, why not pick it up? Anyone else, I would just skip it.